Hi guys, uh, the purpose of this video is for people that are having problems running DirectX 12 and they're getting either DirectX 12 crashes or Fortnite out of memory uh, video messages on their PCs. Uh, so basically, I'm just going to explain to you guys a few things that could be causing this. Okay, The first thing I would do is if you're having any type of memory crash error on your PC, Depending when you had it Windows 11 or Windows 10 last installed, if it's been a while, what I would recommend is do a fresh install of Windows 10 or 11, whichever one you're using. Uh, make sure Windows 10 or 11 is up to date, all your uh, drivers. So you need to up, make sure everything's up to date, depending which operating system you're using. Also, uh, make sure you have enough RAM to run the game. That's another thing. Some people are not running enough memory, and that's why they're getting crashes. Um, another thing I was going to mention is don't run your frequency of the RAM too high, because that can also cause memory crashes. So right now, uh, the common one that people are getting, uh, I'll just type it in right here. It'll show up. Direct X12 Fortnite errors. So this is the ones that are, this is the most common one that people are getting right here. Crash reporter. Uh, yeah, there's so many different ones. Athena crash reporter. So this is what people are getting, you know. And all they're telling people is switch to DirectX 11. So yeah, switching to DirectX 11 will obviously avoid this, with no doubt. But that's not the solution to fixing. DirectX 12 to work with your PC. The whole point of using DirectX 12 is to figure out the problem, not to just switch it to DirectX 11 because you can't run it. Everybody should be able to run DirectX 12 on their computers, okay? But I'm going to give you suggestions. First things first is do a reinstall of your Windows 10 or 11, whichever one you're using. Make sure you have enough memory to run the game. Keep in mind, if you're running Windows 11, you need more RAM to run that operating system than Windows 10, okay? It takes more uh, gigs to run Windows 11, so you need more RAM, okay? I recommend minimum 32 gigs of RAM, no less. Uh, if you have 64 gigs, even better. And anything higher is obviously going to be better, okay? So... I'm running 120 gigs of RAM. I figured just max out the motherboard with four sticks and don't have to worry about upgrading my memory or worrying about any, uh, you know, memory uh, shortage. So you can't go wrong with more RAM. So anyways, uh, this is one of the errors, the most common error that people get. Uh, there's another one over here. Uh, and then there's people online that are trying to tell you how to fix these errors. One person here wrote or did a YouTube video on how to fix an OG out of video memory error, which this is very dumb. It doesn't really fix the Are you getting this error DirectX when trying to play error. Fortnite OG? Listen to Here's this. how to fix it. This doesn't make sense, guys. Start the Epic Launcher. Then click on the three dots and select Manage. You see this? Below, turn the On Launch option DX11. DX11. Yeah, that doesn't fix the problem. So whatever this person here did this video, anybody could have made a video like this and tell you to use DX11. That doesn't even make sense to even make a YouTube video about this because it's common sense. Either put it on DX11 or put it on performance mode. It's going to work. There's no point. This video is pointless, guys. Anyways, forget about this. So just to let you guys know, if you're running a 1300K, just to get on topic, um, if you're running DDR5, I recommend don't go any higher than 5600 megahertz, okay? Anything higher can cause a system crash in Fortnite because it's very picky with the with uh, DirectX 12. And if you're running a DDR4, no higher than 3200, okay? Yes, the RAM could be overclocked on either um, memory, but I recommend if you're using DirectX 12 and Fortnite, no higher than uh, DDR4. Uh, 3200 and DDR5 5600 megahertz. Okay, so first things first, uh, software reinstall. Make sure all drivers are up to date. Uh, also, when you do your install, make sure your um, 
The drivers are also up to date through the NVIDIA website. So download the latest uh, driver for your GPU. So make sure that's up to date as well. Because when you're doing a fresh install of Windows, it doesn't give you the most up to date drivers for the GPU. So that you're going to have to choose whichever GPU you have and reinstall. So I'm going to show you some settings that I added. Uh, you have to go to NVIDIA control panel. Uh, hopefully you guys know how to do that. So I have this on balanced. Okay, for the 3D settings, balanced. Uh, I just wanted to show people the settings I have. So at least this way they can figure out what settings they have on their system. Um, right now for global settings, uh, this is what I have. I'm scrolling down. The more the key one right here is system fallback policy. I have it on prefer system fallback. Okay, so this is a key to making your Fortnite run properly in DirectX 12. Make sure your refresh rate is set according to your monitor. I have it highest available. Prefer maximum performance. The GPU is a 3090. Uh, the shader cache size, because I have a lot of memory, I have it on unlimited. This will make the game run a lot smoother. Uh, usually it's set at driver default, which is fine. But if you guys don't know how much RAM you guys have, then leave it at driver default. So there's no point of changing it. Um, texturing filtering, I have it on clamp. Uh, quality, I have it on high performance because I want the game to run, you know, as much frames per second as possible. Um, and then basically the key here is V-Sync. I have it on fast. You could have it off. Fast just prevents screen tearing. Program settings is the Fortnite program settings. So these are my settings. Off. Uh, prefer maximum performance, power management mode, global settings, highest available, on, negative LOD bias, allow, quality, high performance, trillion year optimization on, um, global settings, I have the VSync on fast, you can have it on off as well, so I have it on fast, it's fine, they're both good, so um, that's that for the settings. Okay, guys, so we're done with that. And then I could try launching the game just so you guys can see that it launches. So just give me a moment while I launch the game. I believe I already have it on DirectX 12, so there's no point of switching it in the settings. So I'm launching it right now just to show you guys. And also, by the way, I'm running DDR4 RAM, and I have it clocked at 3200 not any higher so let's load the game just to show you guys I have it on windowed mode full screen mode will give you slightly higher frame rates windowed mode is good if you're streaming so you can go back and forth I don't see I don't see such a big difference between the two so right now I'm just in the lobby I'll show you here the settings I have it on windowed full screen I'm using a 2560 by 1440p monitor 240 hertz it's set at direct x12 as you could see okay so this is just to show you guys proof okay and now hit play launching the game a lot of people are not able to launch the game so i'm launching it right now just to show everybody that it's working and also just to show you guys as well that it's running at 3200 so dram frequency 3192 what well, this is what it says here because it's software but it's literally 3200 so temps are going up as you can see because the game is uh you know cpu intensive game so you can see the temps are going up which is normal okay cpu fan goes up temps going up that's normal guys uh so yeah so the game i'm in the game now uh, direct x12 so, this is DirectX 12, guys. I mean, it's just a demonstration. I'll land anywhere. Just to show you guys. There's no, um, there's no crashes whatsoever. But, like I said, do not overclock your RAM higher than what they recommend for the 1300K. Because the 1300K is a very... Um, it's got a lot of cores, CPU, this is a very CPU intensive game, so you don't need to have your RAM overclocked that high, okay? 
So as you can see, I'm in the game. Look, I'll show you again. It's not lying. Direct X12. Landing. Nothing's crashing. So this is basically just a demonstration, guys. Just to show you guys how it's running. I'm not really... I'm not really gonna play this game. I'm just showing you guys that everything's working. Uh, I showed you guys the settings. I told you about making sure that your software is redone, like reinstalled. You make sure that nothing's causing any issues with that. Because sometimes that could be causing problems. But yeah, the game is running smooth, as you can see. No issues. So, I mean, I could run the whole game. It's not going to crash. As you can see, everything's good. See? Everything's perfect. So, it runs fine. Gonna exit the game. So, there's no problems here. Uh, so, basically, those are the tips. I gave you guys my settings. I gave you the tips of what to do with the software. And I also give you the tips what to do with the hardware. Okay? So, like I said, that video that that person did, switching to DirectX 11 doesn't solve the issue. So, this is gonna solve the issue. So, like, back in the lobby, as you could see, you know, uh, temps are going to obviously be less because you're in the lobby. When you're in the game, they go slightly higher because it's a CPU-intensive game. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, if you guys have any other issues, you can always message me. It's fine. But um, this is it. And also, um, you know, it's different if I had your computer on my desk and I can check to see if there's other problems with it. But this is all I could tell you right now for online. You know, I don't have your computer in front of me that I can actually rip it apart and see what's going on. Anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and have a good day.